Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be going over in, uh, multi-dimensional arrays. Um, multi-dimensional arrays just means that there's one more than one uh, dimension. Essentially, let's say we want to make an array of strings. We could do something like that. Or an array of strings would be like that, and then we would say array 1. And then equal to hello hello 2 and that would be fine awesome okay that works well if we wanted to say something like hello and then um, or if we wanted to say something like oh man like this where we have hello hello two and then over here have uh, good bye and uh, good bye two then we would have to change it from this one dimension array to multi-dimensional array which basically says that there will be an array inside of an array so right here we have um, uh, the normal array then the second array in which we then start the first array inside of the main array and then we s do a comma and then second array and second array and main array now why is this useful well it allows you to organize things better if you have like a huge list of something that belongs in one category but you want to break it into subcategories you can organize it like this so that you have an array of hellos and an array of goodbyes all under a string array because they're all strings now if you try to do something outside of the um, array like that you would get an error saying that it cannot convert from string to string array. Um, so if you do anything like this you have to make sure that um, it's in within one of the other arrays. Now what if we tried to make a third array? We could do our little brackets like that and then say um, example an example and it works fine as you can see um, you don't need to put a third a um, a third array bracket set like that it actually brings up an error and says you cannot convert from string to string array and over and over and over again so if you want a multi multi-dimensional array just do that and it works fine so yeah that's how you would create one now how would you index one um, Let's do a print line statement and we'll say uh, do one from each array. Um, we're going to say something like uh, oh wait that's uh, let's go back through here print line to print F because that's going to be a little bit easier for me and then here we'll say um, array 1 then 0 and then let's say 2 and that will index the second or oops that would be the third change that to a 1 okay this will index the second element of the first array so it'll go through and say okay this is the first array and this is the second element and we should get hello uh, 2 now we can go through here and we'll say um, array 1 the second array um, the first element array 1 the third with the second element and if we run this yes save okay 
we should get hello two, goodbye, and example two. And that's what we get, hello two, goodbye, example two, um, which works fine. And that's basically how you would index one of them. You would first say which array in the main array you would want to look into, and then which elements of that array you would want to look into. Um, now, one more thing I want to show you guys is what if we try an array within an array within an array? So this array is already in another one, but what if we try to add another array inside of it? Like that. And then do like hello three and hello four okay well we do get an a error and it says it can't convert from string array to string now let's try this again where we add another bracket and everything works fine but the thing is we now need to make these an array within an array again which is a little annoying in Java so we would have to encase this into an array like this in order for it to work and then do the same over here which just gets really really long and annoying but um, you hopefully will never have to use that many multi-dimensional arrays um, but it's always nice to know how to do that stuff. Um, and you would index it essentially the same way. We could do something like that, which would work fine. And out of curiosity that you guys may have, what if we try to index um, only two arrays deep instead of three in a three multidimensional array? You get an out of... What? Let's change that to zero. Okay, let's see if that works because I think I'm getting a weird error. Okay, there we go. Um, and so we go down here and we see um, we get hello three for the first one like we should. And then right here we get actually um, addresses to where those arrays are. Um, Usually, you don't really want a user to see that, but that is what happens when you um, do not index into where an actual string is. Although we are also formatting this into a string, formatted into something else, we'd probably get a different answer or an error. Um, anyways, that's pretty much how you would use a multidimensional array, how you make them really, really big, how you can index them and all of that. So I hope that you guys liked it. Um, I'm kind of running out of things for Java, so unless you guys have many more ideas, I'm actually going to move on to some other stuff. I will still post more Java videos. Um, I might also start posting more Python videos because, I don't know, a lot of people like Python. But uh, with Java, there's not really much more I can do other than teach you guys GUI stuff, and I'm not as good as that as some, or I'm not, I don't think I'd be able to teach it as well as some other people here on YouTube. For example, the new Boston, um, really great teacher for pretty much everything, um, except for what my next series is going to be. He kind of stopped that a couple years ago after only about 10 videos and um, never really got deep into it, so I'll probably be doing that. If you guys can figure that out, good luck. And um, yeah, so I mean, there's not really much more to Java. If I think of something, I will definitely tell you guys... Um, I'll make a video about Java again, but uh, I think I've pretty much taught you guys the basics of what you need to know and stuff like that. If you guys have any questions about it, feel free to PM me or leave it in the comment section below. I will answer. If you guys think of something for Java, then I will do that um, if I can. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like my video if you liked it, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Subscribe for future videos.